Hello and welcome to all my wonderful subscribers and guests of this channel. I'm hoping this video is going to be quick and I'm going to talk about force multipliers. Um, what is a force multiplier? Well, let's see here. I have that easier for you to read. Uh, what are they? A force multiplier. In military science, force multiplication or force multiplier refers to a factor or a combination of factors that gives personnel or weapons the ability to accomplish greater feats than, it, than, it, than without it. The expected size increase required to have the same effectiveness without that advantage is the multiplication factor. All right, so let's do things simply. I tried printing them off. Um, these pictures off but they didn't turn out okay for say night vision and we got a pair of nuds okay so you can see at night if you don't have night vision you're pretty much limited to flashlights flashlights can give away your position and also you're not be going to be able to see at night as well as say during the daytime for weapons all right you have this here's a, what they call an ACOG by Trigicon um, you can use this more effectively uh, to uh, get, get your uh, target acquisition a lot better, but it's more fragile than, say, your iron sights right there. Um, speaking about the weapons platform, this here is a, uh, a laser. I forget what the military calls it, but you have a visible and IR laser to work with your night vision goggles. All right, another force multiplier, goggles. Okay, there's a lot of sand in the desert. Sand gets in everything, even especially your eyes. If you are um, in a, say, a fight, you know, somebody throws dirt in your face, well, guess what? You're going to be blinded and your opponent can really knock the crap out of you. Um, going back with the uh, the laser, this this may or may not have a light on it, so if you're doing room clearing, um, this will be able to... Uh, have if this ha if this does have a flashlight or a white light, you could see. Excuse me, or even if it's an IR infrared uh, light to work with your night vision, you can see clear rooms a lot easier. And the bad guys may not have night vision. All right. One last thing is a gas mask. Zoom in right there. All right, gas mask. Basically, if you're in an area where you're encountering, say, toxic, uh, noxious chemicals in the air like chlorine gas, um, foul odors. You know, I mean, there are some uh, smells that will make the strongest of mortician uh, gag. Okay, um, basically, how long can you hold your breath? Probably not for, excuse me, longer than three hours. All right. Getting on to something else, this is a picture that did not print out too well. This is a U.S. soldier. Uh, on the left is the uh, World War I, and on the right is the modern military. All right, force multiplier. Back in World War I, you had a bolt-action rifle that you loaded it using stripper clips. All right, nowadays you have your... M4 carbine that uh, uses uh, box, uh, detachable box magazines. You can uh, hold up to 30 and some uh, standard military issues 30, but some people may use 40. All right, or even drum mags. Back then, you had a uh, a field phone, which was a telephone um, le with wires leading up to the front and the uh, trenches. Now, well. You got radios, they're wireless transmission. Radio wasn't available for World War I per se. Um, it wasn't portable. That's the main thing. All right. Um, getting with the uniform, back then you had a uh, steel helmet. Now you have a Kevlar. Um, the only thing you had for uh, as a soldier, you had your uh, webbing, web belt, you had your ammunition. And for modern day soldier, you can't really see it. You got your pouch, you got your body armor, all right? Uh, footwear, basic leather, uh, ankle high boots with uh, wraps to kind of protect, uh, oh crap, I forget what they called it. 
um, it was like a, the British used a wool wrap that started around the ankle and went up to protect the legs. Now the boots are much higher. They're made of uh, Gore-Tex, a little bit of leather, and uh, synthetic materials to give it uh, structural support. For intel gathering, you have your cameras. They were still pretty much the same, but now you're uh, digital. So there's that. <clears throat> Speaking of radios, let's move this out of the way. Speaking of radios, you have your standard uh, radio. A force multiplier by itself is great, but if you have to constantly push the button to talk and then let go to receive, you got your hand you got your hand tied up. Also, if you are receiving communications and you need to keep quiet, eh, you're not going to be able to keep quiet with that radio blaring. That's why a force multiplier would be a headset. All right, you got your microphone there. You also have your hearing protection, and with this wire, it also protects. Um, it also connects via another wire. You're pushed to talk to your radio so that is a force multiplier so you stuff you need stuff uh, that requires batteries well uh, standard double a uh, batteries but they're alkaline and you only use them you can only use them once once they go dead for another force multiplier is rechargeables and then you have a way to recharge them is that so that in itself is a force multiplier so getting back with older technology of of uh, weapons platforms say a standard back uh, 100 years ago um, you had a mostly single stack magazines that's pretty much all they had for pistols now you have double stack all right that's a force multiplier and speaking of force multipliers the reason I'm doing this video is because I want to show you this. All right, let me pause it right here. Sorry, the uh, box is a little too big for where it was. All right, so we have ourselves a drone, quadrocopter drone. I paid, what was it, $39.99, 40 bucks. Uh, I'm hoping I paid a good price. The reason why I got this is I can stream live to uh, stream live video to my smart device like ie phone or it says it can record video now i haven't really i haven't opened it up yet and this is just a simple talk about what a force multiplier is all right so let's take a look at the back uh let's see ah notice this drone is designed to be used by newbies or beginners. Okay. Okay, it says, oh. Let's see. Adjustable camera angle, LED lights, replaceable blades, good. Removable blade guards, removable and rechargeable battery, awesome. Oh, here it is when it looks like when it's folded up. All right. So it looks like I need a smartphone. All right. So, guess I can find it on the Google Play and the and uh, Apple App Store. All right, good deal. So uh, this is your first uh, view of this, and we shall give it a whirl and do a full unboxing at a later date. So, uh, thank you for stopping by. Check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to check out the R Syndicate. Uh, it, all the links will be down at the bottom. Uh, with the R Syndicate, you can visit John of the Prepared Mind, Kaz of the Fourth Dimension Channel, Detroit of Detroit Preppin, and a host of many, many more. That's all right. So, there you go. Have a good one, and God bless.